Happy King Kamehameha Day! To which most people said, what? <laughs> so then I would repeat it. Happy King Kamehameha Day! And then they would look at me like, what? And I would say, well, King Kamehameha was the first king of the Hawaiian Islands. He was the man who united all of the Hawaiian Islands. There had just been a bunch of chieftains before them. Oh no, one of my legs has fallen down. Hold on a minute, let me get that fixed. Okay, uh, he united all of the Hawaiian Islands, which means that Hawaii was the only state in the Union that was actually a kingdom before it became a state. Now, te proud Texans remind me that, in fact, Texas was a nation <laughs> before it became a state. Yes, that's true, but Hawaii was the only kingdom. So King Kamehameha was the man who united all of the islands. And he actually has a statue in Honolulu commemorating him. And on Friday, on the Friday closest to his birthday, which is June 11th, they decorate his statue with lots and lots of lace. So I got lots and lots of lace here. Lots of cool colors. They were fun. I wasn't sure what they were going to look like, but then when I ordered them from Amazon and I went ahead and got them out of the box, I was like, hey, that's, that's pretty cool. So there is a really cool story, a really, really cool story about the outfit. These outfits were not made out of cloth and glitter and sequins and things like this. They were actually made out of bird feathers, and those bird feathers were a specific type of bird that was way up in the mountains, a little tiny bird. So they were little tiny feathers, and they sewed them. I don't know how they, they wove them all into these capes. There is an estimate that there are four million bird feathers in one of these capes, which is just astonishing. But there's this really cool story. So King Kamehameha's uncle was the big chief at a time when King Kamehameha was coming up. The year is 1779. So James Cook uh, sails into the Hawaiian Islands, first white man ever seen. King, oh, Pua, Pua, some, I can't remember what his name is. That king gives his cloak and gives his hat to James Cook. Okay, so that's 1779. So now some years go by, years go by, years go by, ends up in the hands of private collectors, years go by, years go by, gets into museums, gets into museums, years go by, years go by, years go by, eventually ends up in New Zealand, in a museum in New Zealand. And the wonderful New Zealanders <laughs> look at this thing after a little bit and say, you know, this should really be in Hawaii. So they call up Hawaii and they say, ah, We'd like to give you back this coat, this cape, and this hat. And of course, the Hawaiians are all like, yay! So they, they all come over, this big ceremony, they transfer, they get to Hawaii, they do a big ceremony installation. This king, uh, I don't know what his name is, the uncle of King Kamehameha, his coat, his cloak, and his hat are still on display in Hawaii. That coat and hat, cape and hat, made a 237 year round trip to get back to Hawaii, which is so cool. Anyways, as I said, one of the things that happens on the Friday closest to King Kamehameha's birthday, which is June 11th, is they decorate his statue with lays. And when I saw that, I thought, well, I'll just get some lays and I'll just give them out. And then I realized I had a little bit of a problem. I figured it out. <laughs> A little bit of a problem because you couldn't just like walk up to people and say, want to lay? And then it's just, it's just not good. And if I did it the way guys normally do it, it would be, want to get laid by a king? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. But I'll tell you about the reactions, how we eventually got away around all that. For now, let me just say, happy King Kamehameha Day.